fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive tutorial. Today, we're going to be building Frisco 1630, a 210 decapod type steam locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. Now I've been having some trouble with building steam locomotives as I don't have much experience in it and they never quite turn out exactly the shape I want them to be. So I'm trying a new method here. As you can see, I've pre-built a little framework of the shape I want here and we'll just build around it. You guys won't have to build the frame because I'll just tell you what to put where. This is just to help me get the right shape. So we're gonna try this method and see how it goes here. So the very first thing we're gonna do is put a polished blackstone brick stair in the center of the rails facing forward like that. Then on the outside edges of the track, we're gonna put a string on each side aligned with the stair. Then we're gonna crouch and put two dark oak trap doors on either side like this. Then behind this stair in the middle, we're gonna make a two by two of polished blackstone block in the middle of the rails. Then coming off this front bottom one, we're gonna put two nether brick fences on each side, just like that. Once that's done, above the nether brick fences on each side, we're gonna put two polished blackstone walls coming out, just like that. Then a polished blackstone block in the top center. Turn around and stack up a dark oak stair for the coupler. Delete the one we use for placement. So we have our front coupler on. Then on this side, we're gonna put two sideways dark oak fence gates for the airline. Then on this top middle, on the back of it, we're gonna put a polished black stone block up here. Then we're gonna grab an anvil here and we're gonna place a sideways anvil on the back of the top center here. On either side of the anvil, we're gonna put a grindstone on both sides. Then we'll come behind this on the bottom center here and we're gonna make a two by three of polished black stone blocks coming up the center, just like that. Then on the bottom middle, we're gonna put a block of netherite on each side of this to be the pilot wheels, and then a polished black stone button on the outsides of the wheels. Then we'll skip one block back from this section down on the rails, and we're gonna put five netherite with a block of space between them for each wheel. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. So skipping a block between each one, a block of netherite until you have five of them for the driving wheels. And I'm just deleting my framework here. Then starting from the front on the bottom middle here, we're gonna put a row of polished blackstone blocks up the middle between the wheels. And we're gonna bring that all the way back until it's one block past the very last driving wheel in the back here. Just like that. Then we're gonna come up front above the pilot wheels here and we're gonna put a row of three outward facing polished black stone brick stairs like that. And then we do the same thing on this side, three stairs up here. Then we're gonna do our pistons so starting from the back of these stairs, we're gonna put two polished black stone blocks up on this second layer, then two polished black stone walls above it. Then on the front, a wall going into the center, and then one wall going up like that. Same thing here. So two polished black stone blocks on the sides of the stairs, two walls above it, and then over and up. Then we're gonna put a player head on the front of each piston like this. Next, we'll do our driving rods. So we're gonna take out smooth stone slabs here and put it on the upper hip box of this wheel and one forward till it's touching that piston. And then we'll bring it all the way down to the back wheel. Then we'll come back up front and on the top hip box of this block, we'll put three coming back and then one going down. And then of course, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So put one on this upper hip box, one forward, and then bring it down to the rearmost driving wheel. 
then we'll come back up front three up here and one coming down and then actually we're going to take this button off this pilot wheel and put two polished black stone slabs under the piston so the bottom of it's lined up with the driving rod same thing here so we'll remove this button and put two slabs right here then we'll do the smoke box here so we're going to come on the front middle section here on top and we're going to make a 3x3 three three of andesite coming up. Then we're going to take andesite stairs upside down here and here. Same thing on this side, upside down here and here. Then three andesite across each side like this. And then three right side up andesite stairs on top facing outward on each side. Just like that. Once we have that in, we'll do the full boiler. So we're going to come behind this on the bottom of the section. And I'm going to take out my framework real quick here. And we're going to put a row of polished blackstone blocks coming backwards down the middle until it's aligned with the back driving wheel. And then we're just going to go through and we're going to raise that up another two layers so it's three blocks tall. And bring that all the way to the front. Then on the bottom edge of this, coming off the side, a full row of upside down outward facing polished blackstone stairs to the back of it. Then a full row of polished blackstone blocks above the stairs. And then a full row of right side up polished blackstone stairs. So we have our rounded boiler shape here. And of course, we'll do the same thing at the other side. So, full row of upside down stairs. full row of polished black stone blocks and a full row of right side upstairs next we're gonna come back up to the front end here and we're gonna take out a deep slate tile stair this time and we're gonna put it on this outside edge one block back from this polished black stone wall. So get it on the outside edge and delete the one we used for placement there. And then one right here as well. Then we're gonna take out deep slate tile slabs, two above this piston, then behind it, skip one more layer up like this and bring a full row of slabs to the back of the boiler. And we'll do the same pattern on this side. So two slabs right here, then up one layer, and then all the way down to the back with deep slate tile slabs. Next, come underneath here on the bottom middle and put three dark oak fences coming back. And then four polished deep slate walls, because there's like a little air tank. And then same thing on this side, four polished deep slate walls. Then on this bottom middle, skip one block back from that, and we're gonna put two polished black stone slabs on bottom and extend two out to the side. And then we'll come over on this side and extend them out to this side as well. Next, we'll come back up here and put three more polished black stone walls on the outer edge because this tank sticks out on the side. We'll do the same thing here, so three walls right here. Then we're going to do this firebox. So we're going to come up under here and start working on that. So I'm going to come underneath here and I'm going to have to delete my framework real quick. So one block back from these polished black stone slabs on bottom, two forward facing andesite stairs and an upside down staircase. Then bring it out one block to the side. Same thing here, bring it out one block to each side. I'm going to delete this framework real quick and we're basically going to fill all this with andesite. So on bottom we'll put three andesite coming back and on top we'll put four. On bottom back here two upside down andesite stairs facing backwards 
And up here, another layer of andesite block. Then we're gonna carry this over to the other side. So on bottom, three andesite blocks behind this stair, on top, four of them, and an upside down backward facing stair on the bottom. Then on the very bottom middle, at the back, we're gonna put two polished black stone slabs like that. Then we're actually gonna extend this firebox out one more block to the side. So upside down stair here and here, and here facing backwards. Then three blocks here, and four here. And we'll do the same thing at this side and extend it out to this side. So two upside down stairs here and here, one at the back, three blocks here, four up there. Then we're gonna knock out these two slabs here. Then we need to come one block down and knock out the two stairs in the back. And we'll put in a two by two of polished blackstone. Then two more right here. Knock out these two stairs, put in blocks, and then polished blackstone stairs on the outside so it sticks out like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. So take out these two slabs, these two stairs, and these two stairs. A two by two of polished blackstone block here, two on top, two up here, and two outward facing stairs right here. Then we're gonna put three polished blackstone on this side here, and two back here. And I'm just gonna delete all my framework real quick. And we're gonna turn this polished blackstone layer into a four by five. So just bring it four back and all the way over to this side. Then on the next layer, we're gonna put four polished blackstone on each side. Then above that, a polished blackstone block on the front of each side. Then two light gray stained glass panes on each side and a polished blackstone wall at each back corner. Then up in the front of this cab, we're gonna take polished blackstone brick stairs, one on this side facing this way, and one on this side facing this way, and a polished blackstone slab up above it. Then in this center gap, we're gonna knock out this bottom block and put in a block of nether brick. Then hit that with flint and steel to light it on fire and close a trap door in front of it. Then we're gonna put an item frame on each side with a compass for some gauges, and then a lever over here for the engineer. Then we're gonna turn around and grab whatever stair you would like to use as seats and put one on each side here, just like that. Then we're gonna put a row of outward facing polished blackstone stairs above the windows on each side coming from the front of the cab, one block out past. Then back here, a row of upside down backward facing stairs and we'll fill the rest of this cab roof with polished blackstone across the front. And we're gonna leave that second block open like that. Then we're gonna grab a trap door because there's a little vent. And we're gonna get that right in that hole, just like that. Now there's two ways to do this funnel here. I'm gonna take my framework out, knock out this center block, and put in a campfire, then take out andesite slabs and get two of them above it here. That'll give us animated smoke, but on the real thing, this funnel's supposed to be taller than that, but we can't do that with slabs or it'll block the smoke. So if you want it to look more accurate, there's a different way that we can do the smoke here. We'll come up here, and we'll go ahead and take this out, and we'll use andesite slabs to make it two blocks tall here. Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna grab a cobweb, and then put one up here, and just keep coming back and up and over, however many you want, however much smoke you want coming out of this thing. There's no real rhyme or reason to it, just whatever looks good to you here. In this way, the smoke's not animated, but now the smoke stack is as tall as it's supposed to be. So whichever way you see fit. Next, we're gonna come on the top middle 
on the third block back from the smokestack and put back to back polished black stone stairs. Then skip two blocks, a polished black stone block and a slab above it. Just like that. Then behind this, right in front of the cab in the middle, we'll open a birch fence gate and put a grindstone in front of it here. Next, we're going to come on the side of this next layer down, starting right up here at the back, and put a row of sideways dark oak fence gates. And when we get by the funnel, we open one so it looks like it's connected. Same thing here, so we're going to do a full row of sideways ones, and then open this one next to the funnel. Next, we're gonna come on the side of the firebox, and on all of these andesite blocks, we're gonna put a polished black stone pile. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on this side of the firebox as well. Next, we need a structure void, so make sure you have an open spot on your hotbar. And then we're gonna come in the command menu, and we're gonna type slash give space at sign, the letter S, space, the word structure, underscore, and the word void. And that'll give us the structure void block that we need. We're going to put a structure void block above each of these grindstones and in the middle an iron trap door. Then we need to grab a block of glowstone and a bell. We're going to put glowstone in the middle here and a bell above it. Then we're going to put on all of our number plates. So we're going to put a crimson sign and we're going to have to stand on this and crouch and put it on this iron trap door like that with the locomotive number 1630. Then we're going to switch to a dark oak sign on top of these structure voids and we're going to put them so they're at an angle like this and same thing type 1630. You can do the same thing over here, put a dark oak sign at an angle, and type 1630. Then we're going to hit all three of these signs with white dye, and then a glow ink sack on all three of them. Then we're going to take out a grindstone, come underneath here, on this back middle, and put an upside down grindstone. Then I'm going to come up top here and show you a different way to do the whistle if you don't like the fence gates. We can remove the fence gate whistle here and just put in some candles to be the whistle. Next, we're going to start working on the first truck for the tender here. So I'm going to get a block of netherite right at the front of it here on each rail. Those are going to be the wheels, and we're going to put an end rod between them to be axles. The sheep keep getting in the way here. I'm just taking the framework out. In front of this, we're going to put back to back deep slate tile stairs upside down in a T shape, three blocks wide. Then behind it, another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle here. Then I'm going to delete this framework back here, and we need to build another truck exactly the same as the one we just did. So we'll have a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle, then deep slate tile stairs upside down in a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern three blocks wide, and another set of netherite wheels in front of it with an end rod axle. There should be four blocks of space between the two trucks. Then we're going to go through and on the sides of the trucks, we're going to put dark oak fences in front of each stair. And then we're going to put a hopper in front of each wheel on all four of the sides of the trucks here. Just like that. Then, the next layer, we're going to fill it in five wide, 
from the front of this front truck with polished black stone block and we're going to bring it straight back. Bring it down and cover this rear truck. And stick out one black pass the back wheels on the back of the tender. Then on this next block back, we're going to stack two polished black stone stairs facing outward on each side. Then a polished black stone block in the middle and a slab on either side of that. Then we're going to grab a dark oak stair for our coupler, turn around, and get it stacked up to that middle block. Delete the ones we use for placement. And then we're going to grab dark oak fence gate. Put a line of dark oak fence gate up this middle for an airline going into the wheels. Then we're going to come up to the front here. Put an airline in the middle going into these wheels. Then on the outside edge in front of the front wheels, we're going to put two polished black stone stairs facing outward on either side, just like we did on the back. And we're actually going to raise that up one more stair so it's three blocks tall on each side. Then three polished black stone across this middle. Then I'll delete some of my framework here real quick. We're going to put a column of three polished black stone on each side behind the stairs. And then behind that, we're going to make a four by six on polished black stone on each side. So four by six here and a four by six on the other side as well. And I'll delete out the rest of my framework real quick. And we're going to put a forward facing stair on each of those front corners of polished black stone. Then on the back, we're gonna put one block in from the end, five polished black stone, then polished black stone on each side with three quarts in the middle, then five polished black stone on top. And then we'll bring the rest of this side in, three high, with polished black stone blocks. And same thing over here, polished black stone, three blocks high. On this lower back section, we're going to fill in the whole top middle three with polished black stone blocks so it's completely contained. Then this framework, there's this little cap up here in the tender, so we're going to build that now. Across here we'll put three polished black stone, one on each side above it like that. And then we're going to come behind here make the same pattern. So a U-shape of polished black stone like this, and one on that side right there. Then it actually has windows, so we'll grab some light gray stained glass panes. And we're also going to grab a door so we can get into that cab. So put a window here, here, and here. And on this side a door. Then for the roof, it's just going to be a 3x3 of polished black stone slabs here. After that, we're gonna to come to the front of the tender here, and we're gonna put two polished black stone blocks on each side like this, leaving the middle open, and a polished black stone stair facing forward on top of those on each side. Then we're gonna do our coal bunker here, and you can use coal if you want to, but I find that using smooth basalt gives you a much more detailed pattern, so I'm gonna use that for my coal here. We're gonna put a two by three across the front and fill this first layer down, all with smooth basalt or coal or whatever you're using. And then just randomly put in a pattern up here, however you want it to look. So it looks like a random coal pile.
Then we're going to come down to the back of the tender on the bottom here. And in these two gaps that are right above each rail, we need to get a polished black stone block so that it's filled in. So one here and one on this side here. Then across this back bottom, we're going to put two dark oak trap doors on each side because there's like a little ledge. Then we're going to take out iron bars, put a column of two here and a column of two here. Then right here, we're going to do a column of three. Same thing on this side, a column of three right here. Then we're going to put a row of upside down forward facing polished black stone stairs here and a polished black stone block in that back middle. Then we can put trap doors across here so the fireman can actually get across. Then an iron bar on each side like that. Then we'll come on to the back here and one block over from the left hand side on the back of the tender we're going to put a little ladder and for that we're going to use dark oak fence gates. So we're going to open a column of dark oak fence gates coming up right there. Then up top on the block in front of it we'll turn around put one right here opened up so it looks like the ladder is coming up and over. After that there's a rear light so in the middle of the back we're going to put a block of glowstone and extend one out temporarily here. Two trap doors above it delete the temporary block. Then close the trap door here and here and here you have a choice to make. You can keep the ladder or we can delete that ladder and close the trap door to close in the side of that light however you want it to look. In front of this cab we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on each side and then on this back half we're gonna run a row of polished blackstone buttons down each side on top of the tender. Then we're going to put one on each side on the top of the back of the cab here. Then we need to make a banner, so come into a loom with a black banner and white dye. We're going to put a vertical on the left, horizontal on top, bottom half white. New banner. Vertical in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the right. Horizontal on top. Horizontal in the middle. Horizontal on bottom. New banner vertical on the left and the right, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom. Switch to black die and put a black border around all four of those banners. Then we're going to come place our number on the side here. So we're going to come up and put the locomotive number on the side of this tender on the fifth block over from the iron bars in the front. So it says 1630. We'll do the same thing on this side. This time we start from the fourth block over and put 1630. Then we're going to come up on the side of the cab, knock out the two blocks under the window, and put in quartz for the locomotive number on the side of that. Same thing over here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed. Frisco 1630, our 2.10.0 Decapod steam locomotive. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, real fans.